It's an important day because we brought together our supporters to talk about how the estuary and the Lower Thames Crossing can unlock growth. The estuary itself has huge unlocked potential and by relieving the, the congestion at Dartford through the Lower Thames Crossing we can really unlock that and grow jobs, housing and the economy more generally. There's a huge diverse conversation today for everyone from MPs from Kent and Essex right the way through to industry um, and industrial partners all over the country. Our roads uh, connect us and are vital, uh, absolutely vital to our economy. They help the UK's businesses and get people and goods travelling right around the country, linking all of our major ports, uh, particularly in the southeast, to airports uh, and to cities and towns right across uh, the country. There's a, a real sense of pioneering spirit in trying to make this a model of construction. The government is backing the estuary. I think what it really shows is that the government recognises the potential uh, of the estuary for future growth. So all that beautiful growth, that great green growth, is <laughs> tricky, really tricky, to deliver without the Lower Thames Crossing. Everybody's used to the misery that the Dartford Crossing brings to local people and the way it stifles people moving around the country and of course particularly for the South East. The Lower Thames Crossing isn't a nice to have. It's an essential piece of infrastructure, not just for the South East but for the whole of the UK. There's new businesses starting, there's new industry coming to North Kent and South Essex, so it's a real opportunity to build this crossing now to support the infrastructure that's going in. To me it's uh, probably the most important piece of infrastructure in a transport uh, sense that we have to build in this country at the moment. And what we need to do is we need to ensure that the Lower Thames Crossing has no further delays and gets built as soon as possible so this will enable businesses in the South East to actually really meet their growth potential. We need that new crossing to breathe some life back into the British economy and embrace those new opportunities coming to the estuary. We really do need that second crossing in order to take some of the delays out of deliveries we need to make. And if the Low Touchman's Crossing was to go ahead and, and ease some of those issues, it would have a profound effect on our members' viability, profitability and efficiency. For the movement of especially goods coming from the port of Dover, up through East Kent and to the rest of the country, the Lower Thames Crossing is an incredible opportunity. It represents a new economy between Essex and Kent. Having that extra additional link to get the freight through will be absolutely game-changing for, for the port industry, for cargoes. It is very clear to me that there is huge support for this project uh, from this reception today, uh, which is great to see because the future of Britain's transport sector does rely largely on our road network uh, connecting all parts of our country. We need to ensure that people are able to move across the Thames east of London in a way they're not able to do at the moment and that is simply wrong. So there's a real moral obligation on us as a country to provide an alternative for the motorists and that change will come about as a result of the Lower Thames Crossing being built. The future of the British economy, of jobs, of great green growth and a great future for my kids and fairness across the estuary and fairness across the up this economy. The message was clear that we need to tackle the congestion at Dartford and get on and build this thing.